Good, y'all. So before I take too long to record like I normally do, I'm going to show you from the beginning. Um, I just took out the spare tire out of this truck. All right. And we are working on these shackles right up here. And we're working on these uh, shock absorbers. And we're also going to change the stabilizer. Stabilizer link shackles and the shock absorber. We're going to change all three of those. All right. On each side. Thursday, look at Thursday. Ain't even Thursday, I'm rocking her mix. Love the way you make a fire. Step, die, die, die. I did a video a while back on a leaf, a leaf spring inspection. And um, these springs look good, man. I'm just gonna change the shackles. The shackles is all, all rusted out already. So that shit cannot, it can't hurt. And, um, the shocks, obviously. They look like the original shocks, I'm not too sure. Um, everything looks original here. And these stabilizer links, oh man, they rusted as hell. So, I'm actually excited about this. And then, after this, I have to go and get two tires for this for the back of the truck. So, a little bit of work today, honestly. Hopefully everything goes smooth. Hopefully these, uh, these bolts come out. Um, they look like they have not been touched. I don't see any rips on them at all, meaning that nobody has taken them out. So hopefully that will be easy to do. No, I'm not too sure. And you actually see the rust. You know, I didn't know there was so much rust here, but it's the back of the vehicle. So I expect it. Nothing is cracked. Looks pretty good, honestly. All right, so this is where we're at, man. The start of it. Um... I'm gonna put the jack underneath the transfer case right there, the rear actual case. And uh, yeah, man, Hope, let's see, I don't know. I do not know right now. It's, it's like a foreign language to me and a little bit, guys, because a little bit because I don't really work on trucks. This is my first truck. So I'm doing all the truck work for the first time, so. I see the parts that I bought. I definitely see the parts, but now it's all about getting them out and being safe. This is the back of the truck. Yeah, I'm about to take off these wheels, man. I don't know. I don't know. I want to leave the wheels on because I'm not even touching that area. I might just have to, I might just leave the wheels on. I might not have to even. I might have to even take these off. We'll see. We jack it up though. Get a front view real fast. I actually like these, that these stabilizer links are basically connected to the frame. It's not a bar going through holding each one. So, oh no, there is, I'm bugging. Nope, I'm bugging. It's connected to the frame. There is a bar right there. I'm bugging out. All right. So. WD-40 is your friend, guys. Here's your friend. So we're gonna lubricate everything that's gonna get taken out. Gotta get under there. So this job is not an easy one. This is a job I wouldn't recommend you doing your own, honestly. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this one. This is a very dangerous job, honestly. Oh. Give me some more cardboard. So underneath the bay, 
Alright, that's what I was talking about. These shackles is, you know, already destroyed. Whatever that is, whatever the best paint, I guess, or whatever is coming off. These are done, done. So I'm changing these already. These, I'm not sure if they're done. All right? But, um, i to find out. And this is the job. So like I said, I don't recommend doing this. It's not going to be an easy job. I know it for sure. I'm just hoping everything goes smooth. I know this is an important screw. So, you know. But yeah, I greased up everything just so it could uh, come out smoothly whenever we're ready to pull this shit out. You know, a, bit, a little bit of time. Wow. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna find it. It's definitely an aftermarket though. KYBs? Yeah. So somebody changed these before. Yeah, he changed. Somebody changed. Yeah. But that's so, it though. Look, the links are old and the shackles are original. So, you know what? So you know, make it tie over here. They wrote it, make it ta 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 So, Grandpa told me what he told me. Now it's time for me to do the rest. Alright. Mm. Grandfather told me was this washer was supposed to be in the top, not the bottom. Nobody can tell me <laughs> that you know, you're not going to kick your ass. So you said these washers, right? They go on the top? On the top. There's two of them. That way you don't have to work in too hard. You know what I mean? Make it easy way. Well, here we go. Big bar, you saw us there? The big bar? The, the big one, the crumb. You take it tight, you know. The breaker bar, yeah, it should the be up there. Bar. Yeah. And the top, uh, uh, up there? Yeah, because you took it, I uh, used it two days ago. Okay, Mm -hmm. 
This is one. This is one screw. Funniest thing of it all, so I didn't know, but they, I bought the exact <laughs> same shocks as the truck already had, just brand new, which is ironic. I did not know it had KYB shocks, but nonetheless, there we go. We, we put them in new, and then we got the AC Delco uh, stabilizer links, and look at these, man, shredded. So these are original right here, so I'm happy we changed the nose. But yeah, new to old, man. Let me show you the new ones, anyway. You see the, you see the new one right there, the shock. Let me just stabilize the link. Ooh, nice and clean. Nice and clean. So, you can see the difference. It's a big difference. And new to old, but that more or less is, the rubber is what you want to keep intact. And that's what we're working on, so. Let's get, it, let's get it done. Put it back in now. It's time to put the new ones in. The washer for the soap. Oh man. Massive. Oh my god. That should be that should be a good thing right there. Um I'll take these bolts back, put them back on. All right, so shocks is in. All right, stabili one stabilizer link is in. <laughs> I did with all this rust dropping on you. Okay. Uh, not comfortable at all, y'all. Not comfortable at all. Um, I'm trying to think. I think it was better without the shock in there, but whatever. Too late for that now. Some more 18. Now I'm starting to get tired of this shit. So real quick, I want to show y'all. Obviously these are old parts that we just replaced. Just did the suspension, the rear suspension real quick. I didn't make it to touch the shackles today. I'll do it tomorrow, but see brand new brand new pieces in um i definitely see a difference already in the back in the back in the front it was a little bit lower before i definitely see it raising up higher so that was definitely a necessity um again i do not recommend doing this one on your own own just for the simple fact that it took a, a lot of extra pieces a lot of extra time um 
This is a this is a pretty big one. And not big as in like big as in parts, but just understanding where you're at, putting your hand in the right places, and having the right tools. You know, actually our our electric gun broke. But we got warranty on that, so we get another one. Um, and now we're going to get the second gun that we have. It's just uh, an extensive job for sure. But you got it done. So, you know, it is what it is. All right. So, again, in the back was sitting much lower. Much lower. Prior to this, mind you, the front tires are, are new and the back tires are old. So that's one reason why it's already lower. But at this point right now, it's definitely sitting steady uh slightly lower on the back but once i get the new tires i'm pretty sure i'll put air on these tires i'm pretty sure it's gonna go right up and uh the drive should feel amazing so job done you gotta know man all these parts come from rockauto.com um i use summit.com summitracing.com and rockauto.com i don't get paid for none of that um to sponsor them but you know i just like to tell people where I get my stuff from and more or less help them. So, you know, Rock Auto and Summit and then eBay, <laughs> for sure. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate y'all.